Hey guys, Boomerster here, back from Minecraft, Minecraft Edition, this is Minecraft, Photoshop Edition, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Actually, I'm going to show you guys how to make Minecraft thumbnails, like the ones I've made for my previous videos. Uh, the, it's going to be like the text and the render thing, I'm going to show you guys how to make that. But anyway, um, there are two ways you can do this, um, links to everything in the description. Also, this video is uh, kind of sponsored by Koja, I mean, Mark mentioned this in his video, so I'm mentioning it in mine. You just use a Koja, so trees get planted, as you can see, all these trees have been planted. But all you gotta use this browser here, uh, Koja.com, get plant trees, okay, yes. Alright, so if you don't have Photoshop and Cinema 4D, that's what I'm gonna use in this video. Uh, there are alternatives, you can use GIMP and Blender, okay, Blender is pretty good. I'll have links in the description for tutorials for Blender, if you don't know how to use Blender, because um, there are some people who didn't know how to use Blender in 2 Compton and asked me to use Blender in my last tutorial, but the thing is I forgot how to use Blender, and I have no idea how to use GIMP. It's kinda like Photoshop, but you gotta download plugins and stuff to make it work out, so yeah, I don't know how to use this stuff. But anyway, what you're gonna do first is open up Cinema 4D. I have this thing called Red Ray Studio. Cinema 4D. It's just it's just this Lightroom by Atmark Works, and uh, I'll just show up. I'll show you. Sorry. But anyway, guys, now that this is open, this is just a render of me. I got this here. This is my Red Ray Studio. Cinema 4D file. Um, all that I have here is just Lightroom by Atmark Works and my rig. Um, I'll link both of these things in the description. I don't know if I should do this with my skin or somebody else's skin, just for a point. No, I'll use somebody else's skin, let's do it. Anyway guys, I got someone's skin here, I don't even know who this guy is, but as you can see, there's a problem with it. Those eyes, you see those eyes right there? No, they need, they need to be gone, okay? So before you do this, what you want to do is open up something, I'm just going to use paint.net because it's on my desktop and I'm too lazy to do anything else. And right now that you have paint.net open, all you gotta do is uh, drag your skin in, or you can just do this file, uh, open and just open your skin. Now that you got the skin, what you want to do is remove these eyes, okay? I actually don't know whose skin this is, um, I, th I think it might be a friend or something. I really don't know whose skin this is, okay, I'm sorry. Remove these eyes, like so, and that's it. And as you can see, the eyes are now gone, The yeah, they're gone now. Now that you have something that looks like this, you might want to change the eye color and stuff, so I'm just going to do that. And right now that I've changed the eyes to green, I'm going to go ahead and pose this thing. got this down what you want to do is just do this no turn that try to pose it in such a way that it's like slightly looking that way it's not like it's not like that okay it's more like one of this you know just like copy that and try to keep the legs out of the picture as much as possible you can keep it in the render but you're gonna remove it later anyway after you've done posing it and everything click this and render it Done the render, it should be something like this. I'm um, gonna close this, I'm gonna save this somewhere else. Anyway, now that you've done that, what you want to do is open up Photoshop or GIMP. I'm gonna use Photoshop because I don't know how to use GIMP. If you want to use GIMP, I'll have a link in the description on how to use it and download it and stuff, so just use that. Anyway, now that you've got Photoshop open like this, I'm um, that that was the last tutorial, I gave up on it. But yeah, after you've got Photoshop open, what you want to do is click on this and then click on uh, this, okay? Uh, copy these settings down. Okay, um, uh, 1280, 720, um, 72 pixels per inch. The reason this is lower quality than the, the 1080p thing is because of one reason. The reason I rendered it in 1080p is because you're gonna have to reposition that. I don't know why this is open. So you got something like this, right? You're not gonna put the whole render in. You're gonna like drag it out a little. And yeah, there you go. It looks pretty good. It looks nice. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the side. Okay, now that you've repositioned this, all you're gonna need is one pack. Me and Mark have made this pack, it's called the Methodic Pack. As you see, it's very cool. It, it's it's cool, it has a cool thing. Look, this, this cool stuff, yeah. And close this. Okay, what you wanna do is open up text, no, actually, first open up backgrounds, okay? And we got some backgrounds here, Sky, Landscape, and Sky Wars. I'll pick Landscape. So I'm gonna pick Landscape, pick a good one. 
Okay, so I got this nice picture here, uh, L19, as you can see, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get, take this, copy it, paste it here, and put it like this. Now that I've done this, I'm gonna take this, rasterize the layer, and we're gonna need to remove the sky. I think this sky is good enough though, because the screenshot was taken with shaders, so I don't think you need to remove the sky for this one. But um, for these screenshots over here, what you wanna do is, I'm just saying these for the other screenshots, Click Ctrl U and increase saturation until the wood looks brown, okay? So it looks like the grass looks the same color as this grass here, okay? After you've done that, go ahead and remove the sky from these screenshots. Go ahead, rasterize the layer style. What you want to do is just take the quick selection tool and just take out the sky like this. Like that. And then um, just get one of these sky backgrounds and put this behind it so it looks cool. Okay, um, I did this wrong, I just, I just did that for tutorial purposes, but um, it, you know what I mean, okay. But anyway, now if you've got this done, uh, the sky for this one looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna leave this, this sky here. That's the blur tool. Go ahead, increase the size by a, a good number and just blur out the background area, kind of. If you know what I mean, just blur out the back. Now that you've blurred out the back, all you gotta do is go ahead New layer style, layer, not layer style, new layer, get some text down, this is at 300 pixels, you usually have something like 72 pixels or something, but it's gonna be tiny, okay, so uh, yeah, you're gonna need to set it higher, but you can do that later, uh, pick the font, Burbank, big condensed, uh, there'll be a download link for that in the description, turn caps on, uh, type your text in, I'm gonna write, make this, I'm gonna write make, we're gonna write this in sex, separate text things, I'm gonna write make first, I'm gonna not do that. I'm gonna click make first, control T, go ahead and increase the size. Perfect, now that the size is pretty good. Click on it, click on this, change the percentage to three. Three percent. Now that you know that's like a tiny bit like bent, but before we do anything else, what you wanna do is take this, go over here, text layer styles, and then pick one of those layer styles that me and Mark have made, okay? Uh, there are tons of layer styles to choose from. You can pick any of these. Uh, these will become available. I'll push the link to this in the description, the download link to this at 50 likes. So if this video hits 50 likes, someone tell me or I'll just add it anyway. I'll look at it and add it. But yeah, I'll add this to the description and you can download it. So anyway, after you've copied the layer style from one of those, paste it over here and boom, you got some nice text, okay? It's basically just automatic text. After you've pasted the layer style on, what you gotta do is click rasterize type, okay? Don't click rasterize the layer style, it's gonna mess everything up. Click rasterize type, and then just... Don't do that. Click on this. Just like... Move this around a little bit. Now that you've done that, make a new style. Layer, um, change this to whatever your text is, I'm just write this. Okay, now that you've done this, all you gotta do is go over here, uh, close the styles things, click on effects, go to arrows, and click on this one or this one. I'm gonna, for this one, I'm gonna pick this. I'm gonna go over here, paste the arrow. It's really huge. And before you move this around, click here and rasterize the layer style because it's, it's gonna get messed up if you don't do that first. Now that I've gotten this, I'm gonna go ahead and control J, drag one over the text and one under, and then select the top one and grab your eraser tool and erase it. Until you get something like this. I just do this, you don't have to do this, but I, I'm, I'm just gonna do it anyway. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, uh, pretty easy to make. If you want a border, no. Click on this, control C, control J, and control V, okay, control V. Click on the layer. Go ahead and add inner glow. This is what I do, you don't have to do this. But if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead, go to the pack. We have borders here too. Um, they're kind of misplaced for some reason. Um, I, got, I gotta fix that. And I can't believe I forgot to do this before, but uh, after you've done, like, after you got the inner glow for the border, I copy that layer style and paste it on the render, okay? It just, it just looks better with it. I, I don't know, it just, yeah, it just looks better, just do it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. it the thumbnail is pretty much done. You can do other stuff if you want. I'm just gonna leave it like this though. If you want, you can add a starburst. There are starbursts in here. What you gotta do is go here. And these are also misplaced. I don't know what's with that. I'm gonna control C this, control V it here. And what you can do is, you can just rasterize the starburst, click control U, 
Get rid of all the saturation. Increase the light, the lightness a little, a lot. Uh, I don't know. Set it to overlay, and grab the eraser tool and just erase the edges. Okay, change the hardness to zero before you do that. We do just erase the edges like this. If you get like this. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this tutorial. If you guys like the tutorial, um, give it a like. If you guys didn't like the tutorial, give it a dislike. Um, 50 likes and I'll release the pack so you can make thumbnails like this. I'll also leave a download link to the this Photoshop file in the description at 50 likes too because I would just give it out instantly, like immediately, but um, it contains some assets from the pack and I don't want to leak, I don't want to leak parts of the pack, but yeah. Anyway, 50 likes and I'll give out the pack. If you guys want to save this, just click on save as um, yeah, it's, it's kind of easy to do. But anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys liked it, give it a like. If you guys didn't like it, give it a dislike. And um, subscribe if you guys want to see more content. I just upload Minecraft content, but whatever. And anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. Um, goodbye. Yeah.